So I'm just getting ready to make some whipped shortbread cookies. Um, my mom lent me her recipe book. It's from a company's coming. Just give me one second. To... It's most loved cookies. And I'm doing the whipped shortbread. She's been making these for years and they're really, really good. Um, I'll show you guys the recipe. There's one side. And then there's the other side. If you guys want to pause it and write down the recipe. So uh, what I decided to do is I'm going to make some colored sugar over here. I've got some red colored sugar and uh, some green. And then I figured I'll show you guys how to make it because I'm sure you guys are wondering. It's not hard, but I just put a little bit of sugar in... Um, container and I've got red green um, let's do yellow just put like maybe I don't know three drops three or four little drops too wet just add a little bit more sugar and there you go some yellow sugar it's not like your typical uh, decorating sugar but it'll do it will definitely do so I'm gonna go get the cookies all the stuff Nick measured out for the cookies and roll them up and I'll show you what they look like when I'm done. Alright, so the recipe is really, really simple. You add one cup of butter and a half a cup of sugar in a bowl. And you're going to beat that on medium for about five minutes till it's light and creamy. And then over here in my bowl, I got my one and a half cup of flour and a quarter cup of cornstarch. We just mix that all together. And basically, I'm going to add that in here in like two portions after this is all mixed up really really well but I'm gonna go cream this together and then I'll show you guys what it looks like alright so that is what it looks like after you whip it so there's what? Okay. Um, so that's the butter and the sugar so now I'm just gonna add probably half that mixture in here and give it a good mix with a fork and then uh, add the rest of it and then I'm gonna mix it really really well make sure that there's no um, flour and dry ingredients remaining so and then after that you just drop about a teaspoon a tablespoon onto an ungreased cookie sheet and my oven is at 375 that's what it's called for and then it says if desired put one half cherry in the center of each cookie and basically you blot dry the blotted dry whatever anyways you just you dry the cherry so that it's not all leaking all over your cookie but I'm gonna do some in cherry because I think there's only two three cherries in that thing and the rest I'm gonna do with my colored sugar over here so I'll be back whenever they're all rolled out so I have a batch in the oven now and then I just decided to roll these out while I was waiting I got a couple more to do there I got some plain ones which is cherries and then I got some that I rolled into my sugar so we're going to try those out and see how they taste. And they go in the oven for 12 minutes. And it's I've got 7 minutes and 28 seconds left. So there's the cookies. They're out of the oven and they cool down for a few minutes. And they're nice and golden underneath. They turn out perfect. So I'm going to get these off here and get the other ones in and get them all cooked and I'll count how many I had. Alright, so there you go. There's 28 cookies all together. And look at them. They look yummy. So 
So hopefully you guys like this video. I'm gonna eventually I'll put the ingredients uh, in the description box. But like I said, I left it there. You guys can pause it, and it's really really simple. And the results are really really yummy. But you have to use butter. That is the I usually have margarine on hand, and it just I've made it before, and they just do not taste good. You really have to use butter. So if you like it, great. Give it a big thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching.